Hey there, it's Funny Boy here, and today I'll be reviewing the recently released movie Sausage Party. This movie was directed by Greg Tiernan and Conrad Vernon. Vernon was involved in other, you know, comedy animations such as Shrek, Shrek 2, uh, Madagascar, and Monsters vs. Aliens. And Tinian was sort of involved with Thomas the Tank Engine. Not to take away from him, but it was it's interesting to see what he's done with this movie. Sausage Party stars Seth Rogen, Michael Cera, Kristen Wiig, Bill Hader, and Jonah Hill. All the food items at a local supermarket are living a good life, waiting to be taken home by a happy customer, and as I say in the movie, taken to the great beyond, because they see the, the humans as gods, and little do they know that soon their world will come crashing down when our main character, Frank the Sausage, finds out the horrifying truth that him and all his food buddies are soon to become meals for these happy customers. This movie was actually really funny and it was it was quite clever. It was a very satirical look on our world and it was done very well. This movie was very lewd and it was filled with a lot of sexual innuendos. Not that that's a bad thing, but too much of them and then it starts to get a bit old. There is one scene towards the end of the film that is just... It's just unforgettable. It's definitely something that you'll remember when you leave the cinema. You're like, holy crap, that scene was just... Like, I'm never eating that food again. <laughs> I love the concept for this movie. It really puts a twist on the, the original Disney sort of movies with the whole, you know, they'll show the secret life of something and then they put a really, really weird twist on it. And this this twist has just added so much so much more raunchiness and swearing to the mix. One thing that I didn't like about this movie was that a, that majority of it took place in the supermarket. Now I understand that's where food is and that's where food lives, but they should have shown more scenes of you know of the food coming home at someone's house and finding out that it's all a big lie, like they showed in the trailers. They really teased a lot of that, a lot of you know the food will come home and find out what's happened, but that you know. They should have showed more, in my opinion. But other than that, this movie was pretty good, and it was entertaining. Story-wise, they tended to, to stay on the same track for the story. The story itself was interesting. It was I liked the way they told it. And they sort of, you know, they followed the same characters, which was good. They didn't tend to deviate too much from the, the actual storyline itself. Overall, I enjoyed this movie. It was entertaining. It was actually pretty funny. It had me laughing out loud at some points. Um... It, towards the end, it did sort of getting get a bit old with the with the whole you know the food swearing and stuff, but it was it was funny nonetheless. That's why I'm gonna give this movie a six out of Sven. I definitely say go see this movie. Just go check it out. It's in cinemas at the moment, so if you're looking for a good laugh, definitely go see this movie. If you have some like inappropriate humor and you you, you tend to be a bit like you know dirty minded sometimes, go see this movie, you will enjoy it. You will laugh your ass off. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and don't forget to comment movies you'd like to see me review in future videos. Also, don't forget to check out last week's video, which will be here in the corner, and until next time, have a great day and out wherever you are. See ya!